Students and faculty at Green Hill School in cahoots with the school's parents association have, since near the school year began, collected paper of all philosophy and lumped it in behalf of a common cause. That cause, ecology originally. Save a tree. Every ton of paper recycled saves 17 trees. So far, 52 tons have had a facelifting and 880 trees breathe easier. Now, the drive has chartered a new course. Save a forest, feed a child. The paper brings $8 a ton. For every dollar the school makes, Texas Industries covers it with one of its own, and the federal government throws in three for every two. The money is for a free hot breakfast for children in the Dallas Independent School District who cannot eat one of their own. Southland Corporation provides a giant trailer and even a driver to steer. Morgan Portable Building Company furnishes a little red shack to fill while the truck is gone or hopefully stuffed. United Paper Company pays the $8 per ton, lumps and bales it or whatever, and Texas Industries recycles it. Reincarnation. A Dallas Morning News returns as toilet tissue in a Times Herald restroom. The school has a $500 goal, but the drive ends the 17th. The trailer is manned even on weekends, but the cold and rain keep too many people home. Stan and Enid Gold, Parents Association president, say they are involved because it's of some help to the community and it's good for the family. Their three children are at Green Hill, and the Golds spend enough time there to get a grade themselves. Mr. Gold, who owns a drapery business, even sends an employee and company van around on Saturdays to collect old papers tossed in alley cans. Just out of curiosity, he saved all the paper from his office for a couple of days and weighed in with 17 pounds, surely good enough to pardon a sapling. One lady who works for a local restaurant threw her paper in the trailer and left a man-sized contribution. She included all the restaurant's receipts for the day, $286 cash. Third grader found it, gave it back. What's the younger generation coming to? About the same as always, really. Mr. Gold says once in a while a young fellow will be diligently at work buried in paper and suddenly the shuffling will stop. It's a Playboy magazine every time, Mr. Gold says. Mrs. Gold says the free enterprise system's not dead yet. She suspects her third grader of selling the centerfolds. While I was there, the kids discovered a set of 12 fine china salad plates mixed in with a new batch of paper. Again, everyone's invited strongly to bring your paper to Green Hill. If that doesn't work, they're going to hold a garage sale.